Welcome back to The Grind. In this video, I'm going to be claiming Lockjaw, my second Mythic of this season. This is the first time I have been able to get two Mythics. It definitely was not as a quote-unquote free-to-play player. Um, I have been saving up rewards for a long time, and so that's how I did it. I did get through the Hugo and Pylon branch as my last two lines to do it. I also had completed the Crystal Howitzer previously, Osidious, and I got uh, first key from Judith's line. Uh, I did the base boost in Krellos when they were on discount, and then my final key was from the um, the mission bonus branch over here. Um, I just went up to where the key is. I didn't get that last one because there's not much left of the season, so not quite worth that bonus. Um, but that's where I got all my keys from. So now we're going to go in and unlock Lockjaw uh, with those 19 keys. Now, if you have extra keys but you can't get a Mythic, um, they will be doing an exchange at the beginning of next season. So keep an eye on that. So there we go. Uh, Lockjaw. I'm pretty excited about having Lockjaw. I have some decent gear, and I did um, unlock Xandra and level... Xander up to max for Lockjaw. Uh, eventually, probably will go on to um, Calivor next season, but we're going to go through and claim all these prizes now. Um, I have not usually had Gear and Rider already set up for the dragons so that I get them, um, but for Lockjaw, I have because I've been waiting for this for a while, and um, I don't have another Ice Dragon that I use right now. Um, the only thing that I'll have to do is level him up. But let's go over and incubate Lockjaw. We'll find his egg here over to the side here. Um, nice looking egg. Gonna incubate that and this enjoyable time to watch it crack open and fly out so we can start leveling him up and make some gameplay. Well, we we'll level him up first then practice flying him once again, and then make some gameplay videos. Um, I do have some gameplay videos on how to fly him from the beginning of the season, so go check those out if you'd like to. So we are going to place Xandra. Where is she here? Uh, there she is. So we're gonna put Xandra on Lockjaw, bond him there, and we'll take a look here at what I have um, for gear. Well, I have to switch it over from my other dragon first. So I had it on, um, forget the name of this dragon, for Amarok, for like Temple Raid uh, and Assault, stuff like that. Uh, so I'm going to switch it back over to this new rider now so I can put it on to Lockjaw, which will be a nice boost for lockjaw right from the start which will mean i can do some invader runs earlier on um, but i have been primarily using different bases to level my dragons because uh, just in main game you can use empty bases to get really good experience still uh, you just miss out on the um the atlas bonuses from the invader base which is a fair bit of bonus but you takes a lot longer to do an atlas invader run um so nice there we go now we've got all that rider gear equipped most of it's pretty good level two maybe i'll work on leveling up it some more now let's take a quick peek at xandra's skills i did put all the warrior stuff and then the rage generation which is like 24 percent rage generation is pretty big especially compared to what other riders have to offer all right, and then as far as runes and glyphs go, I do have this legendary rune of wisdom on to help level up my lockjaw. Makes a big difference. If you did not have the opportunity to get one of these in the previous legendary, or sorry, um, mystery branches, when we see one come back around, I recommend getting it. It's uh, very useful. You really only need one or two, depending how many dragons you typically like to level at a time, um, but definitely very valuable. And then <clears throat> I put on his legendary rune to increase iron wind damage. Uh, I have his mythic glyph. The one also increased iron wind damage and increases warrior HP. Then I added a different warrior HP glyph as well as um, a legendary warrior HP with rage generation. Um, I'm gonna try it this way for now and then decide if I want another better, like a mythic HP glyph or not, um, or depending how, how much rage I need on Lockjaw, because with Xandra, we get quite a bit of rage generation. So that's pretty awesome. And then once this one, once I've peeked at, uh, my 
max level for Lockjaw at this time. I will change this glyph out. Not quite sure what I'll use at this point, but we'll take a look at it when the time comes. So in order to level up Lockjaw as quick as I could, I have been using these 200% XP boosts as well as that Mythic Wisdom uh, rune that I had. And then I have been doing invader runs, but also attacking this base, Cookie Pal 80754. You should bookmark this one. I'm gonna make an updated EXP grinding video uh, because I found out about this base after the last one. You don't even have to kill any towers and you get max EXP for your dragon. So this is awesome for leveling up low level or low tier dragons and you can just keep running that base getting awesome xp uh, much quicker and easier than the invader run but to get the absolute best xp for your like three four and five time multipliers then the invader run is the best if you can have somebody follow and clear it for you but Running against this base is so quick and so easy. You can get a lot more experience in a short period of time just by running this base as opposed to the invader. Uh, although, you know, the invader does have some other benefits like you get gold and shards. Um, but if you're strictly looking for experience in a quick period of time, this is a great option. And uh, it definitely has made my life a lot easier. And we're pretty close to cap, I think, for um, where I'm at, which is awesome. And um, already without boost, 3.67 billion attack power. So that's not bad. I uh, see so we do a couple more runs, um, get one more level on, and then um, go hit a base just to finish off the video with a blast. Hopefully, hopefully the, <laughs> the run goes well. Um, but yes, this base um, has been so helpful. If you're level 479 or less, you can use this base for max XP. If you're higher than that, then unfortunately you won't get max XP for your dragons when attacking this base. Um, I'm sure there's another base out there without farms and mills, but I am not aware of it, unfortunately. Um, but let me know if you find one and I can make it known to other players as well. Okay, so level 72. I think we're a couple levels shy of capping for my level, but um, this will do. Let's see if we can take, I don't think we'll be able to take these 105s, but we can sure give it a try. Uh, let's just see here, level 77. So I'm, I'm maybe a few, a, f a fair bit of levels shorter. Um, but let's see how it goes. I probably shouldn't be hitting so high for the first run here. But yeah, you know, I like to go big. And worst case, I'll just edit this out. <laughs> um, haven't flown Lockjaw much in a long time since the beginning of the season when I recorded all the videos to make my how to fly videos. Um, but hopefully it doesn't go too bad. And then I'm gonna try using the shield spell as a timer for my second freeze. If you saw my how to fly lockjaw video, I suggested this as an option. Um, so once that shield expires, I want to refreeze again. And oops, that was not what I wanted to do. But I did freeze them pretty quick after they came back up. Yeah, that went pretty good actually. I'm actually quite impressed. Of course, this is undefended, so but you know, still not too shabby. And of course the howitzer, because I didn't have enough or rage to freeze again, the howitzer did take me out. Um, but that's okay, let's just swing through with housing. My nice double mythic combo from this season, pretty cool. First time I've ever gotten two mythics in a season. Um, not sure if I'll be able to do that very often. Um, but definitely that's not as a free to play. So um, don't, don't consider that as a free to play thing. All right, let's see if we can get through these towers. I don't know that I'm doing this quite as good as I could be. Let's see if we can get it when we come back around. Except I don't have the rage for it. Ooh, come on now. At least we'll get one of them. Oh, gotta come back sooner since I already killed that tower. Uh, the base. Anyways, not too shabby. Lockjaw did take out that kill island quite nicely. Uh, maybe we'll do another quick run here. Doubt we'll get 
some defenders, but not a bad chunk of gold and food. Very nice. Maybe let's hit Justin. Justin Space here. I did hit him a few times when I was making the How to Fly Lockjaw videos. Um, I don't think I had my Lockjaw um, with much riders and gear set up, if I remember correctly. Actually, maybe we did. Maybe I did get a rider on him um, and had the runes and glyphs that belonged to his line. Um, but let's see how we do now. Uh, go with, use that shield. Uh, like I mentioned in my How to Fly Him video, I like to use that shield first um, because then I can use this second part of the shield with the free rage cost and the extra damage boost at the start. I, I quite like it. So, all right, see if we can get through here. Freeze those towers again. I don't think I timed it right. Got a lot of work to do with my lockjaw. Also, hey, got Lucian leveled up pretty decently, level 33. His uh, attack power is not too shabby right now. Um, I have not got him down yet, but he seems like a lot of fun. I'm excited to learn him a little bit more. Oop, I let that uh, expire. Classic. Well, um, <laughs> let's let's just quit this and um, hit one more base to try to end on a positive note because that did not go as planned. Um, or maybe we should try to salvage this and attack him one more time with Lockjaw and try to make up that uh, that sad run. I think I think we can do it. I just have to remember to freeze again before those lightnings drop me. Hopefully I have the rage that I need. I do have quite a bit of rage regeneration on with the runes and mostly the rider. 24% rage generation with that rider, Zandra. And then I do have like a, almost 4% from one of the runes that I put on. Um, so it's not too bad. Definitely more rage generation than I have on other dragons. I was very tempted to put this dragon on, or this rider on um, Morak. All right, freeze those backs. Let's see if I can get through them. Dang. Didn't quite get it, and that blue mage kicked in just at the right time before I could use that um, spell to to um, get back some more rage. But anyways, that was better. And so far, Lockjaw, I'm kind of liking him. Um, kind of don't usually use warriors. And he's a pretty fun warrior. Some skill and timing required. Uh, pretty strong warrior too. Not too boring, which is kind of what I need. So get live a little bit on the edge and um, have a little bit of a risk, but also a good reward. So that's what I've been um, looking forward to the end of the season, getting that second mythic, and uh, now I got him, so I'm gonna start, once I get him leveled up, practice him a bit more, and maybe I'll get some nice gameplay to share on the channel. So, once again, thank you for watching, good luck with the final days of this season, and your preparation for the next season, and I'll see you in the next video.